Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Uh, as you can see from here, this is Lufa. Uh, one of my most favorite vegetables. Okay, uh, very easy to cook, very flavorful. Your family and your kids will definitely love it because it's very, very sweet. Okay, so um, I have one Lufa here. When you choose lufa, try to press a little bit on it, it must be very firm. Some lufa, when you press, it becomes very soft, then it is already drying out. Okay, that is getting old. Uh, if the lufa is getting old, then it's very chewy, you can't really bite it. So, press on it, it must be quite firm. And then I have uh, some egg here, okay, beaten up. This is optional, I have some prawn at home. And a bit of ginger and uh, chopped garlic here, okay. Okay, so you put so about 3 tablespoons of oil inside your wok, then you raise the heat. Once you start seeing smoke coming up, that's the time where you can put in your egg. Uh, I think my oil is a little bit, could be a bit too, a little bit too much. Okay, let the, let the oil nicely soak out all the oil. Okay, so once the bottom starts to taking shape in the uh, upper part is a little bit still a little bit runny, you can put in your uh, lufa, your si gua, okay, and start frying them together. Super fragrant. <laughs> my prawn this is actually two giant prawn I actually cut it into smaller pieces but this is optional if you don't have the prawn forget about the prawn you don't need the prawn at all you just need the most important is actually the egg and water hot water bit more make sure everything is nice nicely submerged under the broth you can make good make some seasoning I'm going to add a little bit of uh, oyster sauce about one tablespoon little bit of light soya sauce okay Let this continually boiling for about, say about four to five minutes. Then do some final seasoning, it's basically done. But don't forget, we still have our raw garlic and ginger, which I'll put at the end. Okay, let it simmer for under a medium heat for about four to five minutes. So this is after about four minutes. Very fragrant. It's definitely cool. <coughs> we still have our ginger and garlic. So what's the difference between adding ginger and garlic at the beginning and at the end? Well, um, if at the end, then you will get more spiciness yeah, out of the raw ginger and garlic. Just do some final seasoning here. I'm going to give it a little bit of salt. Followed by a little bit of sugar. 
you don't like to put sugar, then don't put, don't worry. Let me have a taste of it. Mmm, very sweet. Mmm, I haven't been eating this for a while. Very nice. I'm going to add a little bit of fish sauce to the end. Just a little bit. Okay, maybe a half a teaspoon. Fish sauce. Done. Off the fire. Super sweet. You can add in some tongfen or uh, glass noodle also to this here. Let me dish it out. Sometimes Alpa will tell my followers, uh, if you think you're not so good in cooking, then go and find those ingredients which can be easily done. And this is one of it. <coughs> Lufa and egg, use these two together. Uh, no matter how bad you are in cooking, it will still turns out to be very delicious. Okay, so if you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Alpa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Alpa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Alpa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.